Hey, shalom, shalom. This your brother D, and I'm back here with you with another video. Okay, so let's get straight to it. Today's video is going to be about how to blow the shofar. Okay. Um, first off, first thing you need to know: if you're looking to buy a shofar, you do not want to order it straight from online. I'm gonna tell you the reason why. If you look at this shofar here, okay, right here um, at the tip of the shofar where you blow into it, the hose is, is cut out a certain way, all right? And so if you're looking for a unique sound, this right here must be cut properly. And most of them that you order online do not come cut to fit your, your, your mouthpiece, to, to fit you know your actual mouth. And so my advice to anyone that's thinking about getting a shofar, first thing is go to your local Bible store or anywhere that you know they sell shofars and pick up a few of them and try blowing each one of them and see which one is, is, is best fitting for you. Because I can personally say that out of all the shofars that I've picked up and I've blown, my shofar is the one that fits for me. Okay? This is a very small, you know, normal size so far there's some that comes in different sizes but um i can actually blow this thing and hit at least seven to ten different notes and i can and i can blow this so far um just as loud or even louder as if i were to use a longer length so far that's because this is my so far this so far fits me so you have to go to your local um so far store and find the one that best suits you make sure your mind and your spirit is focused in on what you're doing because believe it or not it's more spiritual than anything when you get in tune with the purpose and the intent of what you're blowing so far for that helps me out a lot but it's a learning curve i think what really got me on the edge of uh, mastering this so far is me having my heart and my um, spirit in the right place you know the holy spirit actually taught me how to blow this so far all right so to begin, when you're blowing the shofar, you want to you want to move the shofar around your lips, okay, and see where where the hole actually sits properly. The shofar had the, the the mouthpiece is a circle, right? But it's kind of um it's kind of like a like an oval, like an egg shape. You want to do it. You want to have the long way against your lip. Not the wide one, okay? You don't want it to be wide. You want the long way to be against your lip. And when you blow the shofar, uh, you don't want to blow into it. You want to let your lips vibrate to cause that sound to come out and not spit. Because most people that get the shofar, first thing they do is this. You, it, it ain't no way you're going to get any sound out of that, okay? The way the sounds come out, the way the sound comes out um, of your lips, to blow into the shofar, it's a vibration that goes between your lips and, then, and, and you have a little bit of space where you're letting out the air. And the easiest way to start that off is by learning how to do the elephant um, sound with your lips, okay? And it goes something like this. Like an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce, 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 bounce. Hey, I have the perfect music for this. Yes, I have it right here. Hey, man, hold on, man. You want to, like a, like an elephant, right? Like an elephant. All right, anyways, corny joke. But you want to apply the mouthpiece of the shofar onto your lips while you're doing that elephant sound. That is the, the easiest way I find people to learn how to make a sound when they first get this so far. So it goes like this. Did you see that? All I did was apply the shofar to my lips while it was vibrating, um, doing the, the elephant sound. All right? And when you apply the shofar to your lips, don't be afraid to put it on there. Put it over your lips and push against it. Push your lips towards the shofar as you're grabbing, as you're putting the shofar in. That will give it a firm fit. I'm gonna do it again for you. All right. 
and once you learn how to start off in that in that form, you'll find yourself naturally able to pick up the shofar and just put it on your lips. You'll know where it fits. You'll know how to put it in the proper position, and you'll be able to get any sound that you want um, to get out of it by just simply putting it on your lips and going with the flow. All right. So check this out. Stop me, no, 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 no. I'm by my father's business. 